One minute. Okay, thank you. Hi, if you liked my videos, please click the bell so you can be notified and come back often because I have new videos every week. Hi. Yeah, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Just checking in. Wanted to make sure you're aware of the 14-day camp limit. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll be out of here tomorrow. Oh, okay. You got a good spot. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm going to go for a nice walk, but before I do, I'm going to fill this up with water. I'm going to use two gallons this time. I'm going to splurge, and by the time I get back, this should be nice and hot. A couple miles from camp, there's some nice campsites over here. Wow, this would have been nice. You can park right over here. You can have some shade if you want to park over here the only problem is that when the Sun starts going down you're gonna lose Sun quicker when it goes behind the mountains let's see what's over here if you have 4x4 or a van like mine you, you can come over here with no issues but if you have a class A or a class C you may have a problem over here in these big ruts I can tell you that a class C probably would have a hard time climbing this here Oh, there's another campsite but I wouldn't camp here though when it rains hard all this gets washed there's another campsite right there this one is not bad I would stay here this one is a little high see over here it's low and this is a few feet above the washes where the water usually runs look at this beautiful camping spot right at the base of the mountain with a nice fire ring there problem is as soon as the sun goes behind that mountain one issue that I have over here at the foot of the mountain is service I got nothing at least over there where I'm at I have some service I can do some work I can talk to people if I want to but over here you got nothing this place that I'm at is called Ironwood Monument mountain something like that and it's called Ironwood because of these trees called Ironwood they have these tiny little leaves and in between those tiny little leaves they have very sharp spikes you do not want to mess with this thing i've been walking for about two hours made it to the foot of the mountain now i have to go back all the way over there by the other mountains and i want to try to get back before the sun sets i just noticed that over here i got three bars lte from verizon so that's not too bad if i came all the way here at least I will have a little bit of service. Uh, it's just lukewarm. I think I put this outside too late. I'm going to wait until about 5. And if this is still not warm enough. Which right now is not bad. But I like just a little bit warmer. So if it's still not warm enough. I'll heat up a little bit of water, mix it in, and I'll take a nice shower. It would be much easier just to go to Anytime Fitness, take a shower there, but how cool is this? Taking a shower over here, completely semi-naked amongst the saguaros, whatever, with coyotes whining over here somewhere. I don't think they're far from me, so I better hurry up before they come. The sun's going down and it, it cooled down a little bit. It's going down to, um, it's going down to the 30s tonight. I put my pants on just in case. I have to chase some coyotes. Making the last meal over here by the sag, saguaro, saguaro, saguaro cactuses, cacti. Been pretty nice here, but I gotta get moving. I gotta get my mill. And then I'm going to move somewhere else. Not sure quite yet where I'm going to move to, but I'll find a place. Don't, don't be looking at my Timmy's, please. Hopefully the ranger won't come around knocking again. That happens when I have the pen on low for high production. 
Now it's loud and the high production goes downhill. Time to go get the mail, go to the store and get a few things, probably in Phoenix. I'll probably go to Costco and get more water and then find another campsite. Almost two weeks over here. Almost two weeks. It hasn't been two weeks yet. I had two visits from two different rangers. Very nice fellas. Just doing their job. Very beautiful over here, but now it's time to get going. See a new scenery. Oh, there's a ranger. <laughs> he was probably going to come and check on me. I told him I'll be leaving Monday. All right, I got my mail. Now I'm gonna drive about 100 miles to Phoenix. I'm gonna to go to Costco, find the camp spot. Maybe not a, a permanent camp spot because uh, it's already, it's already, I don't know what time it is. 11.40, so I should be there in what? I should be there at 1.30. I don't know. I may have enough time to find a spot today. We'll see. See how it goes. If not today, then I'll find something tomorrow. The sun's going down. There's no way I'm gonna have time to get to this BLM spot that I was going to. So, I am going to crack a barrel tonight. Just trying to get out of Phoenix is, is horrendous. The traffic is horrendous. And now there was an accident on the road that I was uh, on the highway that I was taking to the um, BLM campsite. And there's no way I was going to make it before dark. I can't stand traffic anymore. I just, I just can't deal with it. I, I don't like it. What can I tell you?
couple wrong turns later. I'm over here at this spot with this mountain behind me. And unfortunately, I don't have a view of the lake. It's behind that hill there. I decided that I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to drive another seven miles. And this, this other spot is a BLM. And I, I'm hoping that I'm going to have a view of the lake and maybe better cell service. So we'll see what happens. Some of these roads I don't even try to go on. Wasted my time clearing a couple dead branches. For a four-wheel drive, it would be fine, but for my van, it was a no-go. There's a lot of loose rocks there. I don't want to risk it. I want to stay here a few days if possible and then make my way over to Quartzsite and uh, spend a couple days at the RTR. Probably just, I'll probably just stay at Quartzsite. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Wow, this is beautiful over here. Like there's a few people camped over here. There's a guy behind me with South Dakota plates driving in a small SUV. I'm just gonna find some place away from everybody else. This road wasn't easy to get up here. Absolutely not easy with my van. If my van was, was higher or longer, probably I wouldn't have made it. But look at the view that I got. But as for you, Bethlehem Ephratah, too little to be among the clans of Judah. From you, one will go forth for me to be ruler in Israel. His goings forth are from long ago, from the days of eternity. Micah 5, 2.